Hey, what's up everybody? True Boxing here. Thank you for coming back to get hit with the truth. So today we are doing the recap from the Better Be It versus Smith ESPN card that took place on January 13th. Um, before we get into that, if you could smash the like button, leave a comment, or subscribe to the channel, I really do appreciate any and all support that I can get as I continue to build my channel here. So, um, that fight, uh, well, the card, we're going to go into the whole card. Um, we start with the uh, Maloney and Sanchez Bantamweight title fight. It ended up being a really good fight between the two. Um, it's an, one of those divisions I don't really cover too much. Um, it's not one of my 12 main divisions that I cover, but... It was a solid fight um, between the two. It was a really good fight, actually. Uh, back and forth, a lot of action. Um, good way to start the year on a big card, you know, with a big fight like that. And um, uh, Jason Maloney ended up recording a uh, close decision victory over Saul Sanchez as he uh, retains the uh, world title. In the co-feature, though, we got a good one. We had uh, Christian Mabilly undefeated. Uh, super middleweight contender at 168. And my apologies for my preview video. I said he was a light heavyweight. My apologies for that. He's a super middleweight. And he's a top contender in both the WBA and WBC. He's a number one ranked contender. He was taking on some undefeated guy. I know. I don't think he was undefeated. But his name was Rohan Murdoch. And Mabili just broke down Murdoch. He really did. Um, and stopped him. Um... I think it was in after six or seven, his corner uh, threw in the towel and said it was over with. But, you know, like I said, I mean, Murdoch did his best. He was in there trying to, he landed some good shots. Mobili just has that methodical come forward, break you down type uh, style. Threw a lot of punches. I guess he was an Olympian before, so it was a nice story. It's the first time I saw him fight, uh, you know, live like that. Um, and, uh, you know, on TV like that. I hadn't seen him fight before. And Mabili just put on a good performance, good good, uh, good job of the way he broke down Murdoch and stopped him um, to stay undefeated. Excuse me one second. And then you had the main event, which was uh, Arthur Better B of defending the Unified Light Heavyweight World title against uh, Callum Smith and again you know I stand by the fact that I think Callum Smith was a live underdog I think his inactivity and I think his timing because of the inactivity was was off but no excuses I mean Arthur better be of is an absolute beast he comes in in great shape and um, obviously he could take a punch because Smith did land uh, some shots some solid shots here and there he, uh, you know, uh, hit him so hard that it better be his head snapped back a couple times. But um, it wasn't enough, you know. I mean, better be of just, just the, like I said, the methodical breakdown uh, that he does to his opponents, you know, just uh, landing those short shots and um, counter shots. And it was a great counter shot he got Smith with in that seventh round that put him down um, uh, and, and hurt him badly. And Arthur Better be of, uh just, he did very well to gain some of that, um, you know, because in boxing, there's always shifts, you know, I like to say there's shifts, and uh, it had, after Demetri Bival's year, beating Canelo, beating Gilberto Ramirez, and Better be of shortly after that, a tough performance against Anthony Yard, even though he stopped them, he still was losing on the cards, I think the shift was more towards Bival. And now it's more towards even because of the way Better B have looked against Smith. And it's funny how that works, but there's a lot of people that think Bival or Better B is going to dominate Bival when they fight. And there's a lot of people like myself that think Bival's still going to win. But the point is, is now it looks like it, it's going to happen. We're going to talk about that more on Better B of What's Next video uh, this next week coming up. But um, yeah, I mean, just a great solid performance against. The guy I had number three at, at light heavyweight um, uh, coming into the fight, Callum Smith. So a nice win for him. Tough break for Callum Smith. No, you know we'll, we'll talk about his what's next next week. And Christian Mabili is going to get a what's next as well. So um, uh, you know three uh, what's next videos coming uh, from this card, and um, should be you know should be a good solid 2024. And it looks like the year of undisputed at light heavyweight for better be it, but we'll see. So that's it. That's what I got. That's my recap from the January 13th uh, Smith 
and better be of ESPN card. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, smash the like beat, smash the like button, leave a comment or subscribe to the channel. I appreciate any and all support. This is true boxing. You've been hit with the truth.